Don't you get it? I'm the one who will save Onderon. <laughs> Not you, me. Stop getting in the way. I'm Onderon's lawful king. God, if you won't stand aside, then don't blame me for this. He's gonna become the demon king or something, great. Oh no, the books. I'll be the one to stop the demons, who defines. I beg thee for power. My soul, I give it up freely. Let me place down these sacred seals. I will burn my life for so long as I can crush these us usurper usurpers. I always struggle with that word. What is this sickening feeling? It's familiar. Almost like... Mortimer! Oh, Caiathus, I'm sorry. Your son. I could not stop him. He's gone too far this time. Uh-oh. Still got Dawnbreaker. Oh no, Wraiths. Twilight. Strong against light magic. Ignores targets resistance, what? Freaking Luna? What are these? Mystical powers granted by the Lightbringer Shrine. Okay. Immunity? Target cannot be damaged. Oh. Alright. I am back. Maybe for you, there's no difference. But for me, it's been several days. Things have been hairy, man. Life's getting in the way. This time, that is for real. Of course, it pains me to stop in the middle of the final chapter, but at the same time, maybe it's a good break, and maybe we should split it up. Not sure, not making that decision right now. All I know is we're getting back into the fight with Mortimer. He's summoned three books of light. <sighs> they are mystical powers granted by the Lightbringer Shrine. A fragment of a lost soul. And five shadows known as wraiths. A fragment of Mortimer's shattered soul who all wield... Twilight, strong against light magic, and ignores resistance like Luna. They have Soul Drain, which removes 20% of the total HP of their enemies and can pass through enemy units. So we cannot block them. They fly over walls, and they do not care about res. So if we're under 35 HP, or ish, we may be one-shotted. Or, you know, 33 or 32 or whatever. I guess. It seems they can't make contact with us right off the rip here. And maybe that's for the best. Can Mortimer do anything to us? No. So, in fact, if we place somebody right here, this thing doesn't attack. It just blocks. So if we place somebody capable right here... It has zero, it has zero weight, zero crit. And he was most likely not going to double me. His res and defense isn't the worst, or isn't the best. We may even be able to take him out, or come close. At least this one. But it doesn't look like we have too many, um... Too many very capable units at our disposal. Unless, of course, we dance for Isabel. A true champion of the run. Use the spear and intercept that. Um, somebody needs to wake up Galahad, man. We will use the barrier for Jaka just because it's not going to help us, but since we have the extra turn, we might as well do it just in case it does end up having an effect. And wake up, please. Bombada bada bada. Da, 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 da. 
They don't have a support, right? It's just Albert. Well, that would have been nice to get him in range, but well. You know how it be, right? And I can rescue somebody, actually. Is that necessary? Because we're basically going to be trying to juke out the, uh... The, uh, the other ones. Don't think that's necessary. I could, however, rescue Darius and get him in range of one, although I don't know how useful that might actually be. Because, yeah, uh, let's see. 20 weight, what does that bring me in terms of... That brings me into doubling range, faux show. Faux show. But... I do do them. Do them. Two, seventeen... That should still be fine. And now we will see the shadows. And there's a fast crit to end the first shadow. Misses with the help of the pillar. Ah, uh, yes. The 20%. Oh, they. Mortimer is charging. Mortimer is charging us. What is happening? What, 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 what is happening here? <laughs> Madeline doesn't fly over these walls. So this is actually quite scary indeed. Okay, first things first, I think we hit him with a fat crit from Shom. I use Scorch to uh, r lower the resistance, but it doesn't matter. And that 20% still is taking effect, even though we killed them. And these, I don't know what these are supposed to be doing, but I don't think I can I can hit them in any way. I don't think anybody's had a, had a bolting or anything like that, so... All I know is we gotta stay out of range. Yes, that definitely double Darius if we're not careful. Da, 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 da. The barrier sword does not work against this guy. And neither does the extra resistance. That should be okay. As long as somebody can... Alright. Makes things a little bit trickier. Do we have a dancer? Don't forget about the dancer. I think we will start with this. Darius have any supports laying around? Sorry, Ahmed and Helga. Where is Helga? Here she is. <laughs> okay, we just want to be careful. No one ends in the range of the dude. The dude, the guy. Mortimer. Uh, let's see. 
I think this is pretty safe, especially if Darius pulls a crit out of from under his cape. And that is actually very helpful. And just like that, another shadow is gone. <sighs> and now, Madeline can come in. And this shouldn't be a problem. Mortimer's shadows are as good as gone. Well, aside from one. We get hit by a 33 and that's okay. She shakes it off. She's got very high HP for a Pegasus Knight, or a Falcon Knight, which is very, very nice. Now, we just gotta make sure we're out of Mortimer's way. Jaka doesn't, or Victoria doesn't really have much business over here against, uh, what's his name? We do want to look at Dawnbreaker. Dawn Color's true form, Glorant Skill Flare, which I'm pretty sure is just like mega damage. <laughs> I don't exactly know, but that's what I'm thinking. And his skill, Illusionist, 15% avoid while being attacked and can summon. And he's got crazy luck, crazy magic and skill and res. But his defense, not that good. Could this mean? Victoria, Slayer of Bosses, can walk up and deliver the final blow. <laughs> Might just mean that that's possible. We'll wait here. Curious to see what kind of damage we're looking at, because this is—is is this gonna? This is gonna be magic damage for sure. My controller's dying, of course. All right, we're back. Technical difficulties, great, yay! We are healing. We are getting everyone out of the way. Aha! Mortimer finds himself in range of Jaka. <laughs> the problem is Mortimer just about gets one shot at here, and what? What is? really going on. A Londa two rounds him with ease. This is not, this cannot be Mortimer's true final form. Victoria easily destroys Mortimer. As such, we cannot. However, King Darius, I am surprised to see you are still here. Really, and why is that? Your father is rotting beneath the dirt. You have your throne. Why bother coming here to risk your life for a total stranger? Jaka is not a stranger to me. I gave him my word, you know. A king must keep his promises. You expect me to believe that you are bound by honor? I've spied on you for years. I know what you are. You're the same as King Axe. I am nothing like my father. If anything, I'm more like you. I know myself. If you're like me, that's even worse. The difference is, I'm not seeking mere power. Then what do you seek? Humor me, Stixian King. I seek to be remembered as the greatest king who ever lived. I'll carve my name into Stixian history, history for all eternity. People will sing songs about me for as long as Stixia exists. And maybe even after that. So you seek the admiration of your father? The, the admiration your father never gave to, gave to you? What I seek is immortality, an undying body and soul. <laughs> the mortals exist. We call them demons. Come now, Mortimer. You're not a fool like, a, like the rest. You should know about the so-called world walkers. Joseph and his father were both undying immortals. They are not demons either. This power is within reach. Do you know how Joseph and his father became immortal? I do not, but I seek that knowledge all the time. Perhaps I will even find it someday before I die. Then I will not have to live on as a mere lich. I will not be barely cling. I will not barely cling to life through a corpse. I will get to enjoy all of Terra's riches for myself. <laughs> In the end, you and I are not alike at all. You are the sort of monster I want to eliminate most. It's too bad you'll be dying here, King Mortimer. When you get to hell, tell my daddy dearest I said hello. Hell is too good a place for the likes of me.
The Ogbuna Bali connects with Mortimer. And Jaka has his time. I hate you so much. He deceived us all. From my point of view, the Jedi, are e I, I had no choice but to do so. Enemies of the Lightbringers lurked around every corner. But Jaka, I did not want to kill Bautimon. You know that. This isn't about, this isn't just about Bautimon. You've ruined so many lives. Elanda and her baby boy, Bautimon's uncle Rob Robert, the slaves you shipped off the sticks yet to be raised as undead, the Tamayadans who died in the civil war you instigated, every last soul who perished down in Alvaro's dungeons, the villagers who lived along Onderon's northern coast, the steel knights you tricked into dying for no reason. The needs of many outweigh the needs of the few, Jocko. I don't like the fact I don't like the fact people had to die senselessly. But would ten thousand deaths not be better than a million? When the demons invade, we will face extermination. Sounds to me like you had a solvable problem at hand. But you chose the most brutal possible solution to it. Why kill thousands in the first place? It wasn't necessary. That's where we disagree. I have no regrets. I did what nobody else would thought would have been willing to do. No regrets, huh? You don't even regret killing Bowd. All right, I have one regret. Now my sister has to die too. But this time, it's your fault for bringing her here. The hell it is. You think you've beaten me? No. I'll come back, stronger. Each time adapting to your tactics until I defeat you. Yeah, well, we saw that coming. Oh, so close. Okay. So how are we uh, gonna reach that guy? Aha. Yes, I see. You're going to have to do better than that. Yeah. What? A rift from Helheim? Mortimer, no. This is evil. Stop this now. This is not the Lightbringer way. You forced my hand, Jaka. I'll burn up my soul to win. I'll use the power of demons if that's what my goals demand. Okay. Let's check on these... Helheimians. <laughs> they're nothing too crazy. Obviously, they're not anything to scoff at. As we can see, but... Oh, we can't... We can't defeat that. Greater Rift. A terror in reality. A greater rift caused by an act of terrible blasphemy. It cannot be destroyed. It's also got Nihil and Watchful. Okay. So, basically, we have three waves of Mortimer. Two more after this, and then who knows what. But, I mean, that's just the, uh, the obvious, right? And now, I think they're a little bit stronger. 34, and this is a... Oh. This is a girl version, but what is the difference? Is it uh, his mother? It must be his mother. So it's not... It's not Elanda, is it? No. Oh, this is Void Flame. Okay. Interesting. Silence is target. Want to watch out for that one. And it's anima, not dark. Wait, really? Wait, is, uh... Wait, we don't have Void Flame anymore. Or is it a different one I'm thinking of? I don't even know. It's scary. Da, 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 da. Fifty, the res is twenty-eight. So what would that be? Twenty-two and then thirty-four. 
basically not enough to kill me. <laughs> uh, uh. I don't have any supports, is that right? That is right. That's a nice crit. Alright, oh, I forgot about the 20% of damage, which... It's gonna be like 16 health, which brings me down to... Uh, 64 ish, right? I think we should still be able to take this. Uh, do I want to do a nose for to just in case? I don't I don't know. I don't think I need to. Oh, but it silences me if it hits me. Hmm. That would be bad. That would be bad here. This one... The Lux Hosta is gonna do plenty against him. Oh my gosh, it is fast. 27, we don't even double that. Unless... Oh, no way, zero! That's not cool. <laughs> Does anybody double... 27, I don't think so. In fact, we get doubled here, so we cannot do that. Simply cannot. Okay, new strategy. <laughs> if this is anima, we could use some dark magic against it. And we can put Nosferatu up here. Minus his speed, that would double me as well. But yeah, this is a this is a little tricky here. But this should be okay, right? One two range. Twenty four res. It'll be like fifty. It'll be like twenty a lot. And then the other phase will just have to wait. And if I get hit, I get silence, and that's not a big deal. And this is a initiating battle. How much defense do they have? 14. Jaka here is actually probably not a bad bet either. If we barrier him again with, uh... He's got two barriers now. If we barrier him... I mean, that would be nice too, but... I don't know. We're gonna barrier, barrier Jaka. We got supports going over here as well. And the betrothed thing, that would be that would be ideal, right? And then we might as well barrier Aubrey as well. And we're gonna attack with you in case you get critted. We'll summon another one this turn. Critted, I, I always hate saying critted. Oh he's dodging out here, he's dodging! This is a good idea down here, but 34. What is my defense? Crazy? Yeah. I'm not sure if I should be doing this. Uh, I'm going to do it, though. Wait, I can't do that. Wait. Yeah, I can. Wait. 
da 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 Garam is destroyer of worlds. Destroyer of Helheim. Need supports? We don't have any supports on uh, Aubrey. That's okay. That is okay. Alright. I think maybe just like right there. Just kind of... I'm not intentionally bunching up, but that's what's happening. Uh, might as well... You might as well be... In the middle of it, yeah. Uh, why not, I guess? Alright, uh, and scene. We're all gonna move backwards anyway, it's not like that really matters. Or is really helpful, I guess. Ahmed! Get him! Get him good! Void Flame. Is that Void Flame, the one that I had? How come I don't know? And how is that crit 95? That's insane. More health and defense and res? Or no, she's capped res. Oh, we got luck. Forgot. I forgot. What level was that? Oh, yeah, we're silenced. I forgot. Doesn't matter, though, right? Ba, 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 ba. Najaka level up. Very nice. What more could I ask for other than resistance? Oh, I did not see you! That is very good news. Yes. Oh, yes, and um, yeah, did not. Yep, mm hmm. Alright, that's probably okay. I don't know if I want more people down there fighting a the good fight. We'll see what uh, comes out of the freaking portal. Alright. That's a lot of HP we just gained back. It's, oh, jeez! It's this range. Okay. So, I think... Honestly, I think that's okay. We're not gonna get hit by this. Because we're gonna kill him. Oh, wait. No, we're not. But we're not gonna get hit by this, so this shouldn't matter. Yes. Aubrey being broken. And it really sucks that these guys don't count as mages. That would be helpful. Honestly, I think that Christina goes to help with, uh, cleaning up that mess. Maybe Shom does too, because he doesn't really last super well up here. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, now he's, he's getting stronger. What is, what is this one? Determination. Plus 30% skill activation when total HP is below 50%. So basically, it makes... Okay, we do, well, he doesn't have any skills. Except for that. Flare, jeez. So basically, I don't want him to be close to me. And my only longbow is down here, which is actually not good. I think I'm gonna trade out Garum. Longbow will be a longbow will be helpful, and um, I think Shom better head down there too. Da -da -da. No crit? There it is. <laughs> the perfect, the perfect crit. And let's see. 
probably should have been using uh, Helga here. Actually, it would have been way more efficient to use her for that last guy, where I need to finish him off. That is a silly mistake. And there's a crit for her. She gets a Gale Force, which doesn't really help me right now, though. Because really, what I'm saying is I should have used it on this dude. Right here. Um, but I can use Darius and then probably rescue him out of the way. Although I could have done that with anybody else. But this is 100% chance to hit, so it's fine. And we got strength, so that's a good level up. Albert, what is the point of you right now? Literally, what is the point? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the cutoff. Darius is the cutoff we want. Da -da -da. Whoops, 32 and 34, that's actually not good. 98. No way they'll both hit him though, right? Or am I just gonna be, am I gonna be that stubborn or, 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 or what? Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Yeah, you think you've won. It'll take a lot more. No, I don't think I've won. Let's get that clear. Nowhere did I think I have already won. It'd be really nice if Varg had his stuff back. Wait, don't we have all this stuff? Everybody get your stuff. Please. Yeah, there we go. Da, 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 do, do, do. I can't believe you guys almost let me forget that I have all my stuff. Like, what? I can't believe that. It's kind of annoying though that you have to get, go through your, you know, convoy and everything and I guess there's not a really a whole lot of, of a better way to do it unless you end the chapter and then start a new chapter, but that's probably not the best either for, you know, Storytelling and anticlimacticness and whatever and whatnot. I feel like what is Varg gonna do up here? And Albert, I guess? I mean I don't know. Well that's right, Shoma's gonna go down there, so definitely Garen was nice up here. Da, da. Da, da, da. Might as well flame lance, right? Eventually we'll get to be uh, S rank and lances. And then, it's all over for you guys. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Varg, let's get your thing. I think Dark Spikes is pretty much irrelevant. Void Flare. Wait. What was the other one that they were hitting me with? I already forgot again. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Right? Um, what else did we have? At Rose Thorn, we had. I don't think the sword matters. Uh, I don't know. There's a fat crit. You're gone. Da, dee da, do, dee da. I think we just end turn here. Oh, hi. That's not really cool of you. Get out of my face, please. Alright, take that. And we're gonna speed through this, honestly. Oh, hi. That's kind of scary. We're gonna go through it because... We're grinding still. <laughs> oh, we got bishops inbound. One death, two deaths. These numbers don't matter to me. I'm invincible, unstoppable. I will rule Onderon proper. There's another rift. No, he, he opened another rift? Mortimer's gone mad. Yeah, he has. <laughs> void flame, not void flare. Okay, so this is... Uh... If I would have been paying attention, I would know who that is. But he's got Void Light, turns target to stone. Very scary here. He's got Lightbringer skills. Pass. So basically, we want to dodge this if possible. Which... I feel like sitting here is a good, pretty good chance to dodge. Just about everything. Who else would have that crazy dodge? I don't know. If anyone... 
not sure, but we also cannot forget about this. Yolanda actually could have pretty good dodge. So I think we maybe... Uh, I probably should not have... Hey, that's pretty cool. Whatever's going on here, it's pretty cool. That wasn't even a crit. That was just a unique animation, huh? Oh, there's the crit. I do remember seeing that. Okay. 34 magic. 33 res. What the? So that's another problem is being hit by a silence wouldn't be very nice. Seventy-eight, ninety, Toria and Garen. Could try that. I mean, if we back up over here, how much does this give you? 109, that's not very much, but, uh, 45, oh god, that, that's insane, that's insane damage, okay, I don't want to forget this dude again, no crit, no crit, alright, so, we're gonna force my hand, huh, that's fine, who cares, Void Flare it is. Far, got some res. Sick. And get some avoid. Uh, 136. Our avoid is 109. And we have an Albert and Zacharias support. So if we get them over here, we gotta we actually gotta kill these guys too. Don't forget that now. That would be embarrassing if we forgot that, wouldn't it? Just a little bit, so I'm hoping this is gonna crit. It did not crit. I'm hoping this one's gonna crit. That one crit. Thank you. And then... <laughs> we could do instead is have someone like you rescue Asia. Get her the heck out of Dodge. And Wanda sit here and um, she needs to be healed, huh? Mm, yes. Void flame. Anima. Da -da -da -da. Is this res any decent good? <laughs> 30, 29 and 28. Okay, we're gonna go for this, and then we're gonna go for this. Gosh darn it. Barrier. That will help. Just get everybody else out of the way. Except for everybody could go for freaking Aubrey as well, which, whatever, I guess, right? Might as, might as well. No, don't say might as well. You always say might as well. Okay. 
Thanks. And then Galahad goes here. And crits! Just like that. And then we might as well summon. Might as well. <laughs> oh dear. Lord of Lances. Shom, get down here, please. Is that a great idea? I'm not sure. Oh, you're gone. I think, I think this is a good, a decent play as well. Why not? Christina can take the brunt of this down here. So I'm not super duper worried. Just don't want to run out of lances necessarily. Zambato, here they come. Some scarier enemies. Although, still not that scary. Good night. Yep. Yep. S rank, there it is. And Void Light. Void Light. That's creepy, man. Is Void Light Dark type? Can't be, right? It's gotta be Dark type. Although, it should be Light type. So, who knows? Who knows what's going on? Okay, Void Flame. Thank you, misses, because I think Albert could have died here if one of them didn't miss at least, so. Yep. It was an unfortunate play, but it had to be done, I guess. Oh no! Who is this? Demon Surge. Right. Who's over here to deal with that? Nobody. <laughs> He's got more health, more stats. 27 speed is actually a lot. Termination and Vantage. Vantage is scary. Do not mess around with Vantage. And... Let's see, he will be able to attack me. 55... I kind of think that... Whatever Flare does, I'm not exactly sure, but whatever Flare does, if I barrier through it, I think Alanda can eat it. With the supports as well. It would be helpful. 41 res. This guy is a problem. I would love to... Uh... Uh-oh. Hmm. Surely this will do it, right? And I don't know if we actually can rescue from that. No, Lilinette can rescue. Turns to stone. So... case, he'll go for, uh, what's that guy's name? That dude. Albert. Albert. And that is worst case, right? So, can I get an O well? No, please, please don't. So let's see what Rose Thorn can do. Oh my goodness. Rose Thorn is insane is what Rose Thorn is. <laughs> what? I don't know what I just said.
Good night. Oh my god, a blank level up! How could you? So, I think we do that. And maybe we... Maybe we go here. I don't know. Oh gosh, Shamshir. I'm getting reckless over here. Please don't die, Sean. Oh. Brother? Is that you? No, it cannot be. You are not him. You are just a fragment of Mortimer's soul, taking on shapes of the people who were close to him. That is messed up, man. Messed up. Please don't hit me. Oh, that silences me, right? Or stones me. Even worse. Alright. One two range of lethality is actually insane. Insanely broken. Sister Alanda, please, we don't have to fight. I I'm sorry I killed Bowd. I didn't want to hurt you. But you can't see things my way. But can't you see things my way, just this once? Do you remember my mother, Iris? Lady Iris of House Ring. I spoke to her a few times, but I was too young to get to know her well. She was compassionate, kind and caring, soft-spoken. My mother must have known my f of my father's relationship, with Lady Maria, I mean. Yet she never spoke badly of Maria and showed respect. Why do you suppose that was? I believe she loved Maria too, in the same way my father did. Otherwise, my mother would have given been giving up her happiness. She'd have to watch as he had an affair with Maria. But neither of us know the truth, do we? We don't know what kind of love our parents shared. We can only guess now, based on history. I understand why you felt the need to slay your brother, but that doesn't mean I'll sympathize with you, Mortimer. You could have sacrificed your ambition if you loved me, but you didn't. You hurt me. You weren't willing to give up anything for my sake. So, your words ring hollow. I'm sorry I let you down. It's fine if you don't forgive me. I just wanted to make sure you understood my actions, if nothing else. You can die knowing I did. Goodbye, Mortimer. Brother. Ah, she dodged it. More magic. Albert is frozen in time. Okay, Victoria, do your thing. Let's see it, shall we? Although, it wouldn't hurt to try one of these. Helga and Zari. Maybe. Oh, right. Void light. Someone have a better dog. All right, not you. All right, where's that? Twenty percent. Dum 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 day do do do. Might as well go for this as well while we can. Brave weapons. Uh, let's see. I'm scared to find out what exactly Flare will do. So, yeah. 
petrify. Don't want you petrified, sir. We can dance for you. And now we are in support range. So we can Ogamboogam Bali. Ogamboon oh, 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 Bali. With a higher accuracy, potentially. And you still missed. So, leaves me no choice. No choice. What is my choice? You may wonder. I don't know. Victoria, Tyra, and Isabel. Isabel's not here. Da, 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 da. I think we go for another attack with Elanda. Although I really needed to not get him in range of Vantage, because this is actually very dangerous now. Uh, because if I don't use someone with... He's going to attack first, so... Yeah. Maybe Zacharias? Need to eat. Need to eat that flare. Maybe that will do it. This sh this should do it. I think. Hope that's not scary. It is scary. Uh, am I not strong enough? I cannot take these hits. If this continues, I will... So 21 was the damage. Was he at full health? I'm not sure. 21 would have been 48, so... Another 27 on top? I don't know. I don't know if he was full health, though, so... Not sure. S rank in staves. Nice. Staffs or staves? down here. What do we got? Shamshir. It's going to come in handy. I think we hit the rune sword guy. Yes! Laugh at him! Yes! Dodge him! And laugh him and again! Uh, very nice. So... Can we one shot? Yes, we can. I'm not even really scared of their attack. <gasps> what is that damage? And it's a crit. It's oh, it's the pierce or whatever. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. It's impale, and it's plus ten speed. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What is this? Actually, that's uh, scary. I think we rescue and run away. Because I uh, messed that one up for sure. Alright. I'm gonna go for Ahmed anyway, probably. Yep. The final piece. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, generals. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? What is this feeling? No, no, this can't be. Another portal. 
Oh, uh, dragon. Oh, yes. Those are gone. Thank goodness. And we're gonna auto heal everybody else, basically. Uh, Randall. Are we gonna see Bowdymons come up? Because <laughs> that's Caiathus. That's gonna be his mother. And there's a, there's a Mortimer. And there's a fucking dragon. <laughs> Alright, Void Cleaver ignores defense. 46 damage with crit as well. That's just rude. Pride of Steel plus 2 damage and take minus 2 damage per 25% below max HP. I don't even really understand, but slow, big hit, big defense. Alright. Guess guess we'll bring it on, huh? 46 damage. Guess I start here. Turns into stone. Guess I can't start there. Good night. This is certainly a risk, but I'm taking it. Sometimes it pays off. This is also a risk. Wait, 128? How did that happen? That's insane. If this doesn't work, then this is bad. We're gonna crit. It needs a double crit to kill. But we just need to dodge this as well. Which, if it doesn't miss, it's not the worst. We can Matrona. But that's fine. Uh, Christina's got to work her way back up to the top, though. She's still gaining levels. It's so funny. More levels. Just don't know how exactly we're going to deal with all of those. And void light. Forgot I have Ash Cleaver. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I think I get rid of that. I grab exorcism and anything else decent. I don't think that's going to work, but I'll grab it. Dun, dun, 
Oh gosh, that's scary. That's real scary there. Come on, Ahmed. Yes. <laughs> Dodge again. That's all right. Crit. Yes. Take them all out. Dodge one, please. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, hi. That's not good. Father? No, it's not you. You are only a shadow of him. Damn you, Warhammer. Three damage? Okay. Level up. Magic and res. Pretty good. Rune sword, nothing. Demon surge, nothing. Oh dear. Oh, I, we gotta go to him, don't we? That makes sense. Now we've got even more skills. Wrath. HP is below 50% gains plus 50% critical hit rate. Alright. Perfect. Welcome back. For you, it's probably not a welcome back, but for me, it's been another couple days. <laughs> uh, life has been busy, but I want, I am very excited to get this, get through this this game, this chapter, finally. It's been on, it's been on my mind the entire time. We'll just say that much. We're kind of in a bit of a, a situation here, so we've got these Randall Shadows coming at us full force with Void Cleavers and high strength defense skill and pass as well as your Drain Soul and just crazy durability as well as offensive capabilities. 46 attack and it ignores defense so basically anyone's going to be taken. 46 or 44 whatever depending on the weapon triangle so makes things a little bit tricky and uh, obviously we've got these things creeping up on us as well Christina I think it, it's the best bet if we just get out of here um, yeah just get out of there try to help the, the good fight or whatever and uh, Got the avoid dance on her. Varg's not really able to do anything, but I think we just restore Lilinette here. Is that the original restore animation? I don't remember. I feel like I haven't seen it in forever for some reason. And Varg levels up, and he gets speed, which is pretty good for Varg, right? Isn't his speed growth kind of low? Uh oh. Troller's not working again. There it is. Yeah, it's relatively low, it's 35, but he's, he's coming in quite nicely. Much better than Darius, but Darius is a summoner, so I mean, I guess I get that, you know? Alright, Garam. I think our best bet here, I mean, maybe we, we could use Garam over here, but I think we go for, I think we go for this Brave Bow crit. Maybe. No? No crit? That's okay. It still whittles him down quite nicely. Actually, exactly enough for Darius to come in for a kill. And Darius crits, anyways. So that's great. Realizing also that Mortimer isn't moving anymore, and we kind of got to beat the clock here to uh, get up, get up to him without facing too many Randalls at one time, which could uh, very well be a, a bit of a struggle here, and also not to get, you know, taken out in the meantime. Who is going to? 
take out this chick. Ugh, hate that crit though. Hate that crit. Alright, so... I move her here. I'm in support range, but what does that really do for me? I guess if it hits me, I just gotta heal, right? So. And as well as not forget Helga. Helga's gotta get her Gale Force on to be helpful here. But we can use Madeline against this mage here if we can take Galahad off the space, but he's not gonna do much to be helpful. So maybe. Doubled and all that. I think we just see what Madeline or yeah Madeline does here. Oh, that weapon isn't effective against. Uh, that's so lame. It's not effective against these guys. They don't count as mages, and they don't count as generals. So nothing's effective. Ugh, it is what it is. Like, it's kind of rude, man. I think we just gotta go. We gotta go for damage here and crits, I guess, which actually works out. Works out for the best. Oh, we double crit, or are we just critting everybody? Um, because they're considered bosses now. Is that is that what's going on? I'm not sure. She gets a level. She gets a level 19. She gets another point of res. That's pretty good, I guess. Why not? <laughs> da, da, da. Yep. Let me heal like so. We do gotta be careful with Victoria as to not let her get attacked because as of now, she is in danger of getting one-shotted by one of these 44s. But if Jaka just double crits, then that's fine. And nobody takes any more damage up here by these ones. Although, yeah, we gotta figure out I feel like Thoron's a pretty good bet here. There it is. And then maybe, maybe she can just do the other one while we're at it and save us all some movement. Or, you know, maybe we just kind of do that. But that's probably not a good idea because we still have Aubrey here who's able to do some of this and totally just <laughs> one-shot him <laughs> with lethality. Oh, okay. So, we can actually dance for somebody and possibly take out both of these guys. Helga's not going to get taken out by one, so we can actually afford to, even if we wanted to, probably rescue somebody. If we have enough rescue, which I think we do. But... Does she have any support with Jaka? No. It's just Darius and Bark. So her crit might not be as good. Oh, it's pretty good still. We're gonna go for it. There it is. Taking us one step closer to Mortimer. Now Mortimer is not gonna be easy, obviously. He's only getting stronger. His res is off the charts, but his defense. If we can survive, Isabel can probably weaken him down to maybe a point where, um, to a point where maybe Victoria can come in and... I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe Madeline is good here too. With the extra res. And everything. Alright. 
Look at that. Cap and everything. Da, 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 da. Re rescue. We barrier. Yes. We got an Albert level, and it was an Albert level. So very Albert of you. I think we're going to dance for Darius here, and uh, we're going to summon Skeleton Cohort. <laughs> got the Shamshir. Probably not going to be able to do anything here. <laughs> but I say that's where we... Uh, let him attack. Why not, right? Albert's in danger of getting one-shotted, my goodness. Oh! Ahmed missed, or he dodged and he crits? <laughs> He gets the double crit! Wow. Alright. And all these guys are gonna try to chase me out. See, if Mortimer isn't gonna die and end the, end the chapter here, this is a little bit scary. A little bit, because I think I probably have two turns. I'm gonna need two turns to end this. So, yeah, we will we will just have to see what happens, right? Okay, hurry up. <laughs> see how Victoria does here, first of all. All right. Uh, that's that maybe could do it, but at the same time, it's not super reliable. Uh. Oh yes, the Rose Thorn is... Rose Thorns? Are all of the weapons super effective? I'm not, I'm not really sure... But let's... let's... I don't know, maybe we do this first. Come on, get a crit! Get a crit! No, not you! Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, so close, so close. Does she have any supports? She's got a little Lynette support. Where the heck is little Lynette? Is it damage, do you think? Who knows? And does Garam have the Ash Cleaver yet? No. What are we doing? We are throwing. Okay, so. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's good. That's the that's the play here. Are all the regalia effective against the things? I'm I'm thro absolutely throwing. Goodness me. Get rid of the brave axe or tomahawk? No, get rid of the longbow. And the ash cleaver it is. So I think this here is the play. The easy play. The easy play. Yeah, there it is. Good night. Okay, now what is... What does Isabel do? She needs... Desperately needs a better weapon. I mean, those are... <laughs> she needs something... That can actually hit. And there's no weapon triangle for Dawnbreaker, which sucks. But... I think it's the best way to go if we're going to get rid of all the risk for now. If we can whittle, her, whittle them down on some sketchy hits. So 
supports would have helped us too, of course. Yeah, that was dumb on my part. We could have definitely had some decent supports going. But, yeah. Go, Darius! Use the Og Bonabali! For a fat 41 damage. And a level up. Is he gonna get speed? He's not. Defense is good. HP is good. Luck, luck is probably pretty good, too. I'm thinking we just do the safe, the safe thing here. And then we can have Jaka support, like that, and we heal Isabel. Why not? And we get everybody up here, so in case things don't end, maybe it's not so big of a scary thing to, uh, you know. Goodness. I gotta heal Madeline. I wanna see if it's if she does if the barrier sword does work on what's her name? What's his name? What's his name? Mortimer. What's the what's the villain's name? <laughs> I don't know why my controller keeps not working sometimes, but it's frustrating. And... Barrier, we can get the support with Isabel. Da -da -da. more void it's gonna heal almost that entire damage or whatever we're trying to say and now his hit rate is slightly worse oh yeah we've got the support going and that a support helps those supports helping a lot look at how much better that is it's like 15% hit and like 4 damage and crit and like avoid like whoa man if only I knew how good supports were <laughs> and actually plan to use them that would be crazy right okay so this is a little bit scary hurry up <laughs> So, does he have, he does have vantage, so he will attack me first, and his crit is crazy, is that displayed? It's not displayed, because I, oh, I've got the holy symbol, so I think that I still live if flare procs, what else can proc? 30% skill activation when total HP. So I really kind of just need to know what Flare does exactly so I can just calculate it and not die. That would be funny. Okay, so it's just halving my resistance, which is not bad. So I think if this truly is the final blow, which I guess we'll just see if it is, but I think Jocka deserves it once again. Forgive me, Brianna. I've broken my promise. About it, Bounty Mon. And it's kind of fitting, Jocka. Also, it's level 20 at the end of this fight.
I know that little animation. Wait, what about the other one? <coughs> Nowhere to run. Damn. You look pathetic. Your skin's so gaunt. I burned my soul to fight you. And yet, it still wasn't enough. You stupid bastard. Why would you go so far? Even if you'd won, you'd die afterward. You were right about me. I haven't been honest. Not with you, or Yolanda, not even with myself. I wanted it to be... to be me who saved Onderon. I killed Bald because of nothing but my greed. I'm lower than a rat. Yeah, you are. But it doesn't mean I was wrong. This darkness is still coming. That boy of Elanda's, that Aemon, he's been touched by the void. I see now my actions have led to a future I wanted to stop. He'll become an avatar of evil when he ages, an agent of chaos. You don't know that, you're guessing. I'm dying, Jaka, I'm dying. I don't have much time left, neither does my sister. But she lost her soul trying to protect her son's life. I lost mine because I wanted to play the role of a hero. She was selfless, and I... selfish. I was ready to kill you, but I guess you've even taken that joy from me. No point in stabbing a man who's about to collapse. Before I die, of one question. Brianna, will you treat her well? I know you hate me, but she is a kind soul who's never hurt a fly. We will take the baby from Brianna. We'll raise her child with love. But Brianna was silent while her house committed atrocities. She even wielded Alvaro's horrors against us in Holtmeyer's battle. She will spend the rest of her days in prison. Please, can't you spare Brianna the misery of living in a cell? She needs to raise our child. I spared your family members. You wouldn't take a mother from her child, would- My decision is final. Be glad I'm showing this much care for her. If she acts well in prison, I may allow her to visit the child. But frankly, since she's allied with you, allied with you, I don't care much for her. I see. So you'd even take this from me. Jaka, I wish to speak with my brother. Of course. Sister, have you come to chastise me? You don't have long left. Let's not focus on the unpleasantries. Mortimer, I forgive you. What? But why? Intellectually, I understood why you did what you did. I understood why you felt needed to kill Boudimon. You thought you were going to save humanity from a threat. But emotionally, I couldn't bring myself to forgive you. Not until now, after seeing you here in this condition. You've suffered so much, my brother. Maybe more than me. I must have tormented you, thinking you had to kill... It must have tormented you, thinking you had to kill Bout. Thinking it was the only way to protect everyone's future. Yes, I loved him. I didn't want to do the deed. You've extinguished your soul. You cannot enter the afterlife. The great beyond won't allow you. Neither will heaven or hell. When you die, your body will not enter the cycle of samsara. For that reason, I pity you. You could have been a great leader. Or perhaps I was damned from the day I was born. Yes, that is also a possibility. When you see Boudimon, can you tell him I'm sorry? I'm afraid I won't be able to tell him myself. I'll do that. Thank you, my sister. Had I succeeded in killing Caiathus, I might have met an end like this. Such a tragic fate for Mortimer. If he'd... If only he'd found a better way. Uncle Alistair, I... I don't have much strength left in me. Can you take Mortimer's body? Give him a proper burial? He is not worthy of the last light, but he's still... Of course, say no more. I'll bury him with dignity. Thank you. The King's Revolution has finally come to an end. 
Ultimately, he succumbed to his own hubris. Ancestor Zacharias, the Regalia, can we preserve their power? No, they have exhausted their energy and become ordinary. The ancestors within have all perished. Soon, I'll join them. That's tr tragic. Did we do the right thing, Ancestor Zacharias? Was killing my brother truly virtuous? What if he was right? Have we da damned Onderon? The regalia are but tools. Tools are meant to be used. If Aurora falls, my father will send an envoy someday. They will retake of that which has become lost to evil. But if future generations wish, they may forge new regalia. Artifacts able to beat back the demonic hordes of hell. That is the power of us humans. So long as we draw breath, we will never give up on our hope. You're right, Ancestor Zacharias. Thank you for enlightening me. Say your goodbyes to your friends, Daughter of Light. You've not much time left. Jaka, for this last part, can we keep it private? I can't bear to say so many goodbyes to everyone. Right. I'll tell them when this is all over. Everyone, if you could give me and Ayla some solitude. Helga, wait, before you go. What is it? I wanted to thank you, Helga, for giving me life. Because of you, I was able to spend some time with Eamon. It was the least I could do. Don't even worry about it. I have a selfish request. <laughs> Feel free to refuse it. Can you raise Eamon in my absence? Show him the love that I cannot? It would mean the world to me. I won't have much time to spend with him, you know? My death will only cause him further heartbreak. I want good people surrounding my son as he grows into a man. You're one of the best I know. Me? A Scottian witch? No good friend. Alright, I'll do the best I can. Sigrid always did want a brother. Thank you, Helga. I'll be waiting for you to join me. I'll sever our soul link now. Goodbye, Elanda. We'll meet again soon. Fading. The Lumina Shrine cannot sustain me much longer. But before I go... Eamon, where did he... When I'm gone, I hope you and Helga will treat Eamon well. I know Mortimer believed my son would become a monster. But perhaps, if you raise him, that won't happen. Don't worry, I'll make sure he grows into a fine man. I'll tell him all about you and Vowed, and the rest. Thank you for everything. What? What is this place? I use Lumina's remaining power. This is the hallway of light. The door to the great beyond. Melanda. Take care of Eamon. I know you'll make a good father. We will watch over you. We? Bowed. Ayla, goodbye. Oh, man. That's pretty good. That actually, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that kind of, kind of did it, you know, kind of got me a little, you know, we'll, we'll be honest here. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure what's to come, but I think we're just going to go through and I guess I'll make a quick comment of that was a, that was a pretty legit final comp, uh, final chapter. There's a, a lot of waves to it, you know. It's not it's not so much a one and done uh I don't know. 
it's a little hard to say also since it was split up for me for three different days which is really annoying but that's just the way it happened but maybe the the you know how do you say uh foresight not the foresight the opposite <laughs> will provide me more insight but um yeah pretty deep stuff too with uh all this uh you know limited life force and the soul link and uh the great beyond all these all these things that haven't ever really been touched on before conceptually at least as far as i can remember and vanilla fire emblem you know um granted i haven't played all of them and read every little line of story in all of them something refreshing about these playthroughs is that I get to read through them word for word and really kind of have a better understanding because in the past I would honestly skip through it all or try to read it quickly or you know something like that so that is something I like about recording the games even the the vanilla ones but anyways we'll go through and see what uh, getting through this menu has to offer us Epilogue. <clears throat> One week has passed since Jaka beat King Mortimer in the Lumina Shrine. Today, Jaka and his allies gather inside the Mothrock Royal Palace. They have fought a long, they fought long and hard, and now they'll pre prepare for the future. Dear friends, thank you all for coming. I appreciate you being here today. We've all been through a lot together. We were outcasts forced into exile. Then we returned here as conquerors and deposed that villain, Mortimer. For the last year, we have fought the battle body Bountymon and Nailanda started. Neither of them are here with us anymore, but they live on in their son, Aemon. In time, he will reign as the new king, but that era is not yet here. Aemon shall need someone to rule in his stead until he comes of age. Lord Theodore of House Rose protected Lady Aelanda on the road for years. He kept her safe from soldiers and assassins when no one else could. He pledged his life and went above and beyond what was expected of him. There is no per per better person to act as, our, act as our king's protector and advisor. Will you lead us as king regent? until Aemon comes of age to rule Onderon? I will. Thank you for this honor. I hope to be worthy of it. Your house is undergoing hard times after the betrayal of Lord Samuel. However, now you will reside in the palace, watching Aemon as he grows. I swear that I will see House Rose restored to its former glory. You will take care of little Aemon as if he were one of our own. I have no doubt that you will. Sir Albert of House Lightbringer, please step forward. Albert, you were once known as Alistair, the Nightbringer. You attempted to murder your brother, the former king. When you failed, you fled into exile to escape punishment. It is true, I do not deny it. Considering how Mortimer's killed Bautimon, you should be punished. It would be hypocritical for us to let you off easily. I do not disagree. In the end, Lady Aelanda forgave you. I believe her words take precedent. It was her father you tried to kill, yet she showed you forgiveness. I think we can all agree that you have more than atoned for your past wrongdoings. Henceforth, you shall walk freely around the Lightbringer Palace as Lord Alistair again. Thank you. I do not know what to say. I don't feel like I deserve this kindness. Don't think that this is a charity case. You will have plenty of work to do here. After all, who better to <laughs> who better than you to teach little Eamon about House Lightbringer? Once he is older, you will also teach him how to properly wield a sword. For the rest of your for the rest of all your remaining years, I want you to pledge your life to him. Help us raise him into a true Lightbringer. Will you do that, Lord Alistair? I will, gladly. However, I ask that no one calls me by that name again. Alistair was a cruel man. He tried to hurt those who he claimed to love. Henceforth, I wish, to I wish to only be known as Albert, a scholar and a priest. Very well, Albert. So it shall be. 
<clears throat> Lady Isabel of House Steel, please step forward. Sadly, both of Thorgrim's son are now gone. That leaves you as sole heir to House Steel. It is not a position I ever thought I'd find myself in, nor did I want this. However, my father did not raise me to run away from my responsibilities. I will carry the mantle of my house. Then your future sons and daughters will become the next heir to Castle Steel. Castle Steel. I suppose this means we will need to find a new commander of the, of the City Watch. I won't lie, I will miss my old job, but I'm sure you will find someone competent. At least, I hope so, for the city's sake. <laughs> Lord Shelm of House Windlands, please step forward. <sighs> Most of your family was wiped out during the war, much to my regret. You are now left as the last living heir to House Windlands. I cannot dictate your family's fate. Only you can do that now, Shelm. The decision is yours. What will you do? I am not a leader. I never was, and I don't think I ever will be. I'm not like my father or brother. Who am I to decide? A few years ago, I was a lowly mercenary. We are never ready for these things. You have to throw yourself into them. You become the new lord or you don't. Personally, I'm leaning towards fleeing the country and traveling far away. To some remote, distant island where no one can bother me ever, ever again. That's the easier answer, at least. And the difficult one? I know that the people who died for me would not be happy with that. They would want me to pick the hard choice even if I personally do not. Then you will become the next Windlord. House Windlance is now under your rule. I'll try my best. That's all I can promise. That's all anyone can promise. But you won't be doing it by yourself. I'll be right there beside you, brother. Her mouth looks kind of weird. We'll both rebuild our house together and keep it strong for generations. I know that Jacob would be so proud of you if he could see you now, Shom. You are lucky to have such a devoted sister. Take good care of each other, alright? Yeah, yeah. Come now. Let's go before I regret my decision. Nobles of House Dark Calm, please step forward. Oh, controller's broken again. <laughs> Angelus. House Darkholm decided to be neutral during the conflict, as is your style. All I ask of you is that you continue doing what you have for have done for years. Record this conflict in your books and make sure Andra never forgets it. King Mortimer's actions must never be forgotten, lest they are repeated. Don't worry, I shall compose a beautiful song about our um, that will be needed, Angelus. Just write it down in the books. Hehe, <laughs> a jokester to the end, I see. Of course I shall write a song. I will even sing it to you myself. Wait, I wasn't just. Ugh, never mind. Curtin Haley, please step forward. While Lord Liam and How Lord Gabriel are gone, the future of House Ring is not yet lost. You two came to me before the ceremony with a wish. I'll let you speak it directly. Many years ago, before the rebellion, a fire broke out in my home castle. It was started by my sons who wanted me gone so they could rule instead. I survived, but I was heartbroken and fled into exile in the mountains. For years I called myself Kurt, but my real name is Wilberts of House Ring, and this is my daughter Haley. Shortly after father fled the castle, I ran away from home as well. I've always been a bastard, but my brothers saw me as, still saw me as a threat. I knew I wouldn't lo last long there. Now my sons are dead, and while I mourn as a father, the world is a better place. Now I want to return to my pa post as Lord of House Ring, and I have another wish. Ask. I would like Haley to be recognized as a trueborn noble of House Ring. F father I would never ask for this. No, but I will. I want you to be my heir. I am old, but I will not have- <clears throat> I am old, I will not have more children. You are House Ring's future now. Only a king can legitimize a, ba legitimize a bastard, so the decision does not fall to me. However, I spoke with Theodore before the ceremony, and we both agree. Haley, from this day forth, you will be a true-born noble of House Ring. I don't, I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you so much. Dry your tears, little arrow. This is a day for joy. I am happy, father. Truly, I am. This is just a lot to take in. I pray that. 
I pray that more happy days await you both. Lady Ariel, please step forward. For far too long, House Ashburn has been known as brutal rulers and tyrants, and you had to suffer a false reputation being known as the Ashburn Butcher. I'd like to apologize to you on behalf of everyone here who believed it. I do not blame any of you for buying into my father's lies. You've proven to us all that you are nothing like Lord Geoffrey. It is time for you to prove it to the rest of Onrion's people as well. I believe that in time, not only your reputation, but that of your family as well, will improve. Thank you. I want to believe so as well. I will, I will rule House, House Ashburn with dignity. We will treat our people fairly and work to regain trust, even if it takes years. Lord Fred of House Speargarden, please step forward. Lord Alexander dragged the name of your house through the mud. You will have a lot, to, a lot of work to do in restoring your family's reputation. However, if anyone can pull it off, I know it will be you, Fred. It is with a heavy and sorrowful heart that I take the mantle of leadership. But know this, I will not rest until I've repaired the damage my cousin did. The people of Onderon shall sing the praises of House Speargarden again. This I swear in my honor as a knight. Jesse and Natalie, please step forward. I understand that you are both bastards of the late Gareth of House Flameguard. Now that the Flame Guards have mostly been wiped out, what will you do? Will you wish to go back to your old lives? No one will blame me if you do. However, House Flame Guard could use someone to guide it to a better future. Before joining up with you guys, I was a broken shell of a man. That won't change overnight, but I'll do my best to improve. I will quit the dust and work to become a decent fellow. But Natalie will accept this honor. She'll work hard for her family, together with her dear brother. Yes, that sounds kind of nice. Then from this day forth, you two shall become true-born Flame Guard nobles. Do your best to restore your family's name and honor. Victoria of House Flamore. House Claymore, please step forward. House Claymore was once a powerful house, possessing its own regalia. But after falling into debt and losing that regalia, they fell in hard times. For several generations, the Claymores have been seen as a lesser family. I cannot restore your lo lost regalia, but I can forgive your family's debt. Consider it erased. May, the, may it be the first step forward, first step towards restoring your house. You will never again have to marry off into other houses to pay your debts. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you, Jaka. Thank you, thank you so much. My jo my father <laughs> my father will be beside my family will be beside themselves. I love I, I mean I appreciate you. Well you guys are betrothed, right, Abe Sport? Forest King Garum, right forward. Using his knowledge of centaur customs, Baudimon bound you to our service. However, he died before he could forgive your debt, forever trapping your soul. Yes, it is my greatest shame. My honor is forever tainted. I will never join the eternal hunt in the great beyond. However, would someone close to Baudimon be able to forgive the debt on his behalf? Hmm, his family, maybe? Baud Baudimon treated me like his brother. Our bond was thicker than blood. On his behalf, I consider your debt paid. You may return to your people, Garum. Amantal Varosh. Thank you, Jaka. You have shown me a great kindness. When I return to my tribe, I will speak of the bravery and honor of humans. Never again will we attack unprovoked. That is a promise I make to you. Lastly, I wanted to give my thanks to those not native to Onderon. Thank you for fighting on our behalf. We owe you a debt we cannot repay. Lady Helga, you helped us when your grandmother revealed her true self. You even sacrificed your life force to give Elanda extra time with us all. My opinions on the Northerners have greatly have improved greatly since meeting you, as have my opinions on you Southerners. Dragon King Tendaris, I will never forget what you did for the nation of Onderon. I am hopeful that our countries will keep their good relations moving forward. Give it a few hundred years and I'm sure you'll forget about it, but I'll enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> And lastly, King Darius, I will admit I did not trust you at first. Even well into our campaign, I still held my fair share of doubts. However, you have since proven to us that your word is solid. Thank you for Styxia's aid. A good king must keep his word, and I intend to be a good king. 
I look forward to opening up trade with Andron. May it bring us all prosperity. Anyway, that's enough talking. I've said everything I wanted. Tonight we will hold a feast to celebrate our new king. You are welcome. You are all welcome to join us. All hail King Amen Lightbringer. Long may he reign. Hail King Amen. Hail to the king. Long may he reign. I snuck away while the others were celebrating. Time to catch a long nap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> hey Jaka, where are you going? Aren't you going to join the feast? <laughs> there was a time when I wanted nothing more to eat food and drink and ale. What? Than to eat food and drink ale. Now, however, I want to take a nap. Well, um, okay. I guess I'll leave it to you, then. Leave you to it, then. Did you come here to tell me something, Victoria? Well, yes. Or more like to ask you something, kinda. Come on, then, ask. Have you given any thought of what you're going to do? As I said, I want to take a nap. I mean, after that. Uh, <laughs> now that you mention it, I haven't thought much about that. I've been so busy trying to get everyone through this alive. How will you live your life now that the war is over? Well, I suppose I'll have to stop by and check up on little Layman now and then. I promised Elanda I'd look after him, but he's in good hands with Theodore. After some time, I doubt I'll need I'll be needed anymore. They'll forget about me. I guess I can go visit my family in Holtmeyer. I'd like to visit them. But what about getting family of your own? Hmm, that does sound nice. I hadn't thought about it much. I'm so tired of beating around the bush. I love you, Jaka. I want to be your wife. <laughs> this ring that you gave to me, you said we could talk We could talk more after the war. Well, the war is over, so let's talk. Where did this come from, Victoria? This is not like you at all. I've become more confident in myself. Confident enough to tell you the truth. Well, I like this new confidence of yours. This is a way better than your stuttering. And the answer is yes. I would love to, <laughs> I would love to marry you and spend my life with you. Let us become husband and wife. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to give us lots of beautiful gifts. At least three girls and four boys. And it'll be a nice wedding and big and beautiful. And there's all the music and cake and songs and dances. I've invited all our friends and watch us get married. As we can say, we love each other. I bowed on Yolanda the day we got married. And the gorgeous flowers that have become the praise bride you ever did see. Victoria. Uh, yes? Shut up and give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, boy. What a way to cap it off. Wait, is this the- this is the prison? Alright. I better get this out of the way. Jaka! I heard you wanted to speak with me, so here I am. You got five minutes. Thank you for coming to see me. I won't waste any of your time. I want to know what is going to happen to my child. We finished discussing that. Here's what we are going to do. We will raise your child together with King Eamon as his sibling. I'm sure Eamon will appreciate having some real family members around. Oh, thank the Divines. I am grateful for, to you. In time, your child will know the truth about Mortimer, about their father. Not before they are old enough to handle it, of course, but still. Will I have any contact with my baby at all? Your trial, your trial will determine how long you spend in here. I wouldn't get hopeful. You're probably going to spend the rest of your life behind bars. As for your child, when he or she is old enough, we will let them decide. Maybe they will come down to see you, maybe they won't. It's their choice. May I please ask you something bef before you go? I don't imagine we will see each other again, so now's your chance. Shoot. What was Mortimer's final moments like? Did he say something before he fell? He said some things, yeah. Tried to explain himself. Most people do that when they are at death's door. And after hearing his reasons, do you still hate him? Strangely enough, I don't. Does that mean he was able to make you see his side of, side of things? I understood why he did it, but so what? He hurt and killed a lot of good people. Not my, ju not my job to judge the snake's actions. I came here to chop its head off. Don't you understand that evil acts must sometime occur for the greater good? I'm not here to debate ethics. I'm a soldier, not a philosopher. 
If you hurt my friends or family, I'm going to hurt you back. It's as simple as that. So you don't care about Morty's warnings? W about the coming- about the coming demonic invasion? I've been to Helheim, where I faced down a de demon overlord named Asmodeus. His voice echoed in my head and chilled me to the bone. I will never forget it. I know the demons exist, and I know they pose a threat to all living things. Knowing that, how can you justify killing the one man who tried to save us? Because I had no way of knowing he would ever stop once he was done saving us. Maybe Mortimer would eventually turn into a demon himself. Maybe he already had. Mortimer was never a demon. I believed in him. I still do. Which is why you're in this cell, and will be for a long time. I only wish you knew the gravity of your mistake. We all make our mistakes, Brianna. I'll live with mine as you will yours. Looks like your five minutes are up. Well, well. Look who came to visit. To what do I owe this honor? If I didn't know better, I'd almost think you sounded a bit bitter. Of course I'm bitter. I was tricked by a bloody Lightbringer. He tricked us all, Galahad. Me included. He didn't trick you into causing the death of two heirs you were supposed to protect. I understand you feel bad about it. It's not about how I feel. This is about principle. I need to serve my time here as an example. How long do you plan on staying down here? Not for long, but I cannot return to the other Steel Knights like that. They need to see that even their own leader is not above punishment. Only then will they respect me. I don't get it, but then again I'm no knight. Farewell, Sir Galahad. Brothers, I'll atone for my sins. You'll see. I will make it right. First, however, I have to endure my purgatory down here. I must say, there's a delightful irony in the choice of my cell. It felt right to put you here, almost poetic justice in a way. You can't keep me locked up forever. I'll find a way out of here eventually. I have too much sway with the nobility. They will never let me rot in prison. Maybe back when you were still considered a great hero. Now everyone knows the ugly truth about you, Alexander. Your reputation is ruined and it was only your shield. We shall see, Lord of Lances. We shall see. I look forward to proving you wrong. One day, we shall meet again, I'm certain. I hope I'll never have to stare at your smug expression again. If you do somehow manage to get out of here, I'll kill you myself. That's a promise, Alex. So, the mercenary thinks he's my equal. <laughs> we shall see who has the last laugh. Ha! A few days of celebration goes by, and soon the festivities come to an end. Now it is time for Jaka's companions to return to their homes and families. Jaka begins by saying farewell to the native inhabitants of Mothrak. <laughs> Boogie! So, Thea, Coulter, this is the way we say our goodbyes. I hear some rumors you two plan to go to Holtmeyer? I got some business I gotta finish up here in the slums. We'll take a few days. Then we both had planned to head to east, yeah. I think Coulter's got a girlfriend over there or something. He can't wait to get going. Knock it off, Thea. That's not it. I think it's safer there. Coulter's not wrong. The war may be over, but Malthrak will be dangerous for a while. It will take some time to restore order to the city. Until, the streets... until then, the streets will be dangerous. I plan to return to Holtmeyer myself in time. Cool, maybe we can meet up, have a drink at the bar. I'd like that. You two look after each other now and take care. Be seeing you, Jaka. Goodbye. <coughs> I suppose you will I, I suppose you will be returning to your infirmary, Harriet. It's sadly still in ruins, but I got some friends who will help me rebuild it. I patched up a few limbs in this city, so I'm owed a favor or two. That's good to hear. I think you will have plenty of work in the months to come. Indeed, for as long as we have cities, we will have idiots who get injured. They're not going to patch themselves. Theodore has promised that you will get some assistance from the Crown. 
You should see some uh, supplies arriving at your infirmary within a week or so. And he better keep, and he better be keeping that promise. Otherwise, I'll give him an earful. If he doesn't, write a letter to me. I'll straighten Theo out for you. Good. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Boogie. Yeah, you want something? Just wondering what your plans are. Hell if I know. Are you gonna quit stealing? Are you gonna quit being a pain? Uh, I don't think so. Well, there you have it. That guy's hopeless. Well, I guess it's time for me to move on. I thought I was hearing a familiar voice outside my tavern. My listening skills have leveled up nicely as of late. We've begun rebuilding this place. Will take us a while, though. It's still a sore... Still in a sore state, but uh, we uh, have a few tables and chairs. Come and have a drink with us. Thanks for the offer, but I should get going. It's on the house. Well, when you say when you put it that way, I never say no to free. Then it is time for Jaka to say farewell to his Viking friends from Hornheim. So, this is where we part ways, for now at least. Indeed, that looks to be the case. From here we can sail home. Once we ensure our clan is taken care of, I will fly back here. Sigrid might lead the clan in my absence so I can stay here. I'll miss you, weird southerners, and I'll also miss you, Jaka. I hope you will come to visit us when you have time. I'll probably, probably be busy, but if I ever get some vacation time, you bet. Same goes for you. Send a letter if you ever wish to visit Andron. Helga should be able to fly you over swiftly if she wants to. I don't mean to sully our goodbye, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know how long I have left. Could be less than a year. Big sister. I know, Helga, but it doesn't hurt to be optimistic, right? You can never know what the future will bring, so chin up. At any rate, I am sure your clan will be happy to see you. If you, ever, if you had never come to Hornheim, grandmother would still be alive. Who knows what she would have done to our clan, to me... To Sigrid, I can never thank you enough for exposing your true self to us. Truthfully, I don't know what will become of Clan Scotty without her, but at least we decide our own fates now. That's all we can ask. Thank you, Helga, for being a loyal and good friend. Have a safe journey home. I haven't been on a ship in forever. Let's board it. I can't wait. Yay! Yeah, I agree, sister. Let's go home. This is where we all met back in the day. Fitting that it's also where we depart. Just standing here brings back so many memories, both good and bad ones. I feel s sadness. Bjarki, Barrett, you two were the first Vikings I ever got to know. I used to think your people were nothing but stupid, violent brutes. To be fair, a lot of us are. <laughs> so at any rate, I hope you guys will be able to live decent lives back at home. We will manage... Yes, it will be good to see our family again. Bjarki... R Ragnarsson... Bjarki Ragnarsson and Barrett Olafstadter. Have a good, safe voyage to Hornheim. I hope we meet again someday. You lot sail s set sail without me. I'm staying behind. Are you sure, Haftan? How will you get home? I said go. I got plans here with the little Lance Lord. Okay, Haftan, you are absolutely certain that this is your wish? Oh, no! I have lived a long and glorious life, but I can, not, I can feel myself getting old. Had I stepped onto that boat, I know I would have perished in my bed. My friends are waiting for me in the halls of Valhalla. I wish to see them. I understand. Are you ready? I am. Let us do this. Long last, a worthy death. I'm glad. I'm sorry. I missed a vital strike. Do you want me to end it now? No. It was an excellent strike. I can feel my life ending. I do not fear pain. A 
It's good to hear. I hope this is enough to send you off. Indeed, I see now b before me the eternal halls of glory. My old friends are cheering for me, welcoming me home. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is a Viking's death. Thank you, brave warrior. I am grateful. I'll make sure to burn your body as per the customs of your people. Enjoy your eternal feast, Berserker. You've more than earned it. A few days later, Jaka and his draconic companions from Tamaya pass through the majestic Emperor Mountains. Do you guys recognize those cliffs? I'm pretty sure this is the place. Indeed, this is where we first met. You, Baudimon, Elanda, and I. It almost feels like yesterday. To me, it feels like a lifetime ago. What are you talking about? Well, I do view time a little bit differently to you. From here, it is not far until the Samayadan border. I suppose this is goodbye. Goodbye for now, you mean. We will meet again, Jaka. Maybe I'll get bored of being a king and simply run away. I could hide at your place. Tendaris. <laughs> it's a joke, Jahira. A joke! So you say... I still think you should come visit us. You could transform and fly over. Imagine the shock of the nobility if a dragon lands outside of the palace. Of course, I want to see what kind of a man Eamon grows up to be. Hyrian be good. I'll get to know him properly, as well as his children. And their children's children, and their children's children, too. <laughs> I'd like to think that this is the beginning of a long friendship. That Onderon and Tamai will be fast allies from this point forward. I suppose that is wishful thinking. I know how things tend to turn out. In a few years, the Onderon nobility will begin to squabble and argue. I suppose we can believe in it together. Just two stupid fuel fools daydreaming. We should get going. You're no fun, Jahira, but you are probably right, like always. Jaka, it's been a wild ride. Have a safe journey home, my friends. May Pyrian guide you there safely. May the Divines watch over you as well. Well, well, it was fun, little Lancemen. You're pretty strong for a human. You, I might not forget you right away. It's probably as big as a compliment, but big a compliment as I can expect to get from you, Miriam. I'll take it to heart. Safe travels. <laughs> I don't need to travel safely. <laughs> See ya. Okay. And lastly, Jaka says goodbye to his allies from the desert nation of Styxia. We are finally beyond the Infernal Palace. From here, we can follow the river home. I must say, surprised... I must say surprised you decided to say, see all your foreign friends off personally. Don't you have better things to do? Andron is still a bit unstable after all the chaos. I wanted to ensure your safety. Besides, a Windland Pegasus Knight will be here in a bit to ferry me back home. I've walked enough for two lifetimes. <laughs> Puny little mortal lifetimes. Hardly even worth counting. Well, I suppose this is where we part. It's been an experience, Jaka. Hopefully we'll meet again soon. We're still serious about maintaining good relations between Styxia and Onderon. Of course, our two nations can only profit from a mutual friendship. I'll make sure to send envoys and write King Regent Theodore off it. Trade caravans will soon start to roll through the Infernal Pass. I will say, though, it's a real shame you didn't claim the Silver Throne. I think you would have made for a much better ruler than Theodore. I disagree. I wasn't born to rule a nation. Theodore will do a much better job. Well, I shall do my best to get along with him then. You think your father will stay dead? What do you do? What do you? <laughs> what will you do if he stay comes back? His resting place is bolted shut and magically sealed for good measure. And I'll make sure his crypt is guarded both day and night in case. And if he comes back, we'll just whack him again. <laughs> Very well. Have a safe trip to Kadim. I hope your reign is long and prosperous. Oh, I assure you, it will be. I suppose I'll be leaving too, Jaka. This is goodbye for now. So you're not having second thoughts. I'm a bit. I'm still a bit surprised you're going. I thought you despised Styxia. I do, but I also know my family is still alive. I need to find them and see if they're okay. Maybe they were sold into slavery as well. I might be able to buy their freedom. Just don't get your expectations up. You may not like what you find. 
Don't you worry. Once I find them, I'll come back to Holtmeyer. When I do, I'll buy you a drink. How does that sound? I'll keep you to that promise, Aisha. Come back to us in good health. Hopefully with your family. Goodbye, Jaka. Try not to miss my dancing too much, will you? I know you'll cry yourself to sleep every night missing me. So I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to manage without you. Guess I'll drink more. Well, if you ever come visit me, I'll, show, I'll give you a short discount. How does that sound? Very tempting. You take care now. You as well, sugar. Goodbye, Jaka. Thank you for watching Dari's back and keeping him safe. That will be that will be your job from now on, Kepri, so stay vigilant. There's many sneak, sneaky people in Stixia plotting behind his back. Oh, you bet. I'll make sure nothing happens without him knowing. He's lucky to have such a capable retainer. I hope he knows that, too. Safe travels, Kepri. To you as well, Jaka. Goodbye. I'll miss you. Oh, dear. Come, come, make sure you two keep up. We have no time to waste. A large army from Styxia is on its way to invade Onderon. They'll be here soon. Wow, an entire army? That's incredible. Not to worry, Master Ferdinand. I will face it head on like a man. That's what an alpha male does, dying to protect his homeland. You fool, we won't be dying, not today. I plan on unleashing my true power. I will send those undead Styxians back to the grave where they belong. Finally, a chance to observe Master Virgil's real- Virgil? Virgil's real power. Uh, you guys, I think your information may be a little bit outdated. Hmm? What's that? Some kind of cindy, silly insect buzzing around my ears? Be quiet while I'm addressing my people. It is important that they listen to me. Elmo, <laughs> have you brought enough water for our trek through the blazing desert? I haven't, because a true alpha male is supposed to suffer through the heat. The high dehydration only makes you stronger. Excellent! I've taught you well, my pupil. You will soon become an alpha sage. This adventure will turn, into me, turn me into a true expert. I'm so excited. Enough talking. Let's head towards Styxia. This way, we head to the, we, the, we, the east. Guys, Styxia is to the south. You know what? I can't be bothered. Oh, dear. What silliness. I'm finally home. Ah, oh, that's it. Oh boy. Ah, oh, the artwork. Baudimon. The very beginning. Is that the fire emblem on the wall? Crazy. Writer, animator, map maker, composer, champ. Okay. <clears throat> Beta testers. Bethany, Davis, G, Don Lot, Fire, Lance, Fishy, Hanako. Special thanks, Susuke, Nameless, Ephraim, Sainyo, Haruku, Panzergraf. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making. This is a pretty incredible project. I will be a thousand percent honest. I honestly cannot imagine what kind of work goes into something like this. I don't even know where it begins. I've always thought I liked the idea of meddling with a Fire Emblem hack and doing something of my own like that but i always knew the technical limitations would have definitely put up a fat roadblock for me personally I remember in high school thinking about doing custom sprites or like a you know custom little story but never even got into actually starting anything so truly i can't imagine because even something as simple not simple I'm not saying it's simple even as even simp oh my god even something like doing a custom mug is daunting is crazy don't know where to even begin if you're not starting from uh, a splice or something but i tried it i did a splice once and it was not pretty but <laughs> it was also like yep not doing that again it's been a pretty long time coming started this in august right september 
it's been a pretty it's been a pretty good ride not only through the game but through uh the channel as well we started this from basically nothing obviously and uh i'm pretty happy with the results and to that i say thank you thank you guys who are continuing to watch these and i've always kind of <laughs> kind of dreamed of having a fire emblem channel but always thought because i've always wanted to do youtube right i always thought i wanted it to be you know a career path <laughs> so doing fire emblem was always like not the most optimal just because it's such a niche thing i feel like especially since the newer games tend to not be very popular and if it was more mainstream maybe it'd make more sense but it's just not how it works and obviously the gba games and rom hacks are just a charm there's a special charm there that's not there with the newer ones and a lot of us i think are drawn to that i don't know if it's all nostalgia or if it's just truly the simplicity and the charm of the 2D spriting and animation, blah 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 blah. Don't need to get into that, but yeah, it's been it's been pretty mind blowing, and we are on the way to great things. I think um, sorting some things out in life to get more time to do this, but you know, it is what it is. Got to do, got to take your time, right? I don't know, but anyways. The game has also been pretty amazing and opened my eyes to a lot of possibilities in the world of Fire Emblem Realm Hacking, so that's exciting. Um, I think it was a very good experience and I am excited to replay it. I have mentioned many times before of replaying the game on the channel. Um, I don't think it would be very smart to do it right away, but it's also going to be hard not to do it off camera. Maybe I will just have to do both. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for what's next. Finishing FE7 and uh, starting something new because there are quite a few finished hacks out there that I have, I, I want to get into and I'm excited for something similar. I honestly, here's the thing, I honestly think this game sets the bar pretty high. I don't see a lot of other hacks getting being this polished or uh complex but we will see you know i'm obviously not gonna i can easily be swayed if that is just not the case i mean i'm sure it if it can be done it may have already be done been done but this is also a new project too so it probably takes a lot of uh concepts from the older ones and taken and borrowed and changed on the formula to make it its own thing and furthermore i'm excited for what's next after onderon saga if there's truly a sequel and there's that prequel game that is i think in development so that should be exciting as well and so i'm excited to get into it and aside from rom hacks i i do want to play some of the fire emblem games i haven't played like uh fe4 and 5 fe6 i've only done a couple times not super familiar with it and i've never played fe12 just playing through some of the other games as well should be exciting and there's a lot of content that's out there for me to play through so that's exciting and i'll you know did not mean to turn this into a channel dump and randomness but there's also other things that i'd like to try like tier lists or uh deep dive type stuff or guides maybe or concepts or whatever it is i haven't really got there yet of course so time will tell and maybe like a big mashup of a playthrough would be a thing but honestly i don't know about that and uh i should probably just stop while i have a, <laughs> I have a good point to stop so thank you so much for watching this series this channel and i had a great time and i think you all did a great job making this game as well and this is only a sign of greater things to come but anyways thanks for watching we will see you on the next one goodbye